Hello friends. I hope you all are happy and healthy. Today we'll be making some pesto. Our pesto will be nut free and dairy free. I'll show you the ingredients and utensils that I have prepared. I have two cups of kale. You may also choose to use spinach or basil leaves. Two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. If you're up for adding dairy, you can use two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Four cloves of peeled garlic. One fourth of a cup of olive oil. One lemon. We'll be slicing our lemon in half with a safety cutter on the cutting board and squeezing half of the lemon juice out with our lemon juicer. I also have some optional seasonings that I'll be adding. I'm using sea salt, black pepper, crushed red pepper, and basil. We'll be blending all of these ingredients together in a mini chopper. I have a silicone spatula ready for our mini chopper. We'll start by preparing our lemon juice. It's time to prepare our lemon juice. I'm going to curl my fingers like this and take my safety knife and cut my lemon in half. I'm going to use a bowl. I'm going to store half of my lemon with a food hugger and I'm going to squeeze half of the juice out with my lemon squeezer. Now that we have our lemon juice prepared and all of our ingredients ready, it's time to put everything in our mini chopper, pulse, and we'll have some yummy pesto. You'll want to do some taste testing in between to see if you need to add anything to fit your taste. We'll start by adding our kale. I'm going to add about half now and I'll blend and add more later. I'm pouring in my nutritional yeast now. I'll drop in my garlic cloves. I'll pour my lemon juice around and pour my olive oil in now I'm going to add some of my sea salt sprinkle that around some black pepper Some crushed red pepper. I'm gonna shake a little in all around. Now I'm going to add in my basil leaves. Time to attach our lid. Oh. Our 
lock it in place. A pulse. I'm going to open my lid and add the rest of my kale. delicious. I really enjoyed making pesto today. It smells great, it tastes delicious, and it was simple and easy to make. You can serve yours with pasta, smear it on a sandwich or a wrap. You can cook meat with it or vegetables. You can serve it with breadsticks, eat it however you'd like. I hope you enjoyed and found the right mix for your taste. Thank you all so much for joining me. I'll see you all soon. Bye now.